When it comes to education, we as parents want to ensure that our children are receiving all of the necessary tools to excel academically in school. Pacific Charter Institute's homeschooling community is flourishing to where even the leaders in the program are having their very own children homeschooled. Here to tell us more, we have the Director of Homeschool and Independent Study Programs, we have Marcy Gray, and Rio Valley Charter Schools Outreach and Engagement Specialist, Luana Sparavona, is that right? Sparavon. No. Sparavon, Sparavon, I apologize, Luana. Um, but welcome to both of you. Great to have you here. And what's interesting about this is that you both, you work for Pacific Charter Institute, however, you also have your children enrolled in the home school program. So how does that play into your official roles? Well, uh, my homeschooling background has definitely helped me mm -hmm. help other families um, start the journey. Uh, homeschooling is definitely a lifestyle, ch lifestyle change for the whole family. And, uh, and I believe that since I have homeschooled my own children, I am uh, prepared to help them. Yeah, because the you're waters. speaking yeah. from experience, right? Definitely. They're Definitely. in their shoes. Definitely. So you can relate, right? And uh, homeschooling is how we met oh. um, before we worked for Pacific Charter Institute. Okay. So it's a matter of practicing what we preach also. Yeah, so it comes from a very organic place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's what um, we do. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's what you, it's <laughs> what you do. Um, and I think homeschooling, though, for um, a lot of parents watching and um, many that I've spoken to can sometimes bring a little bit of anxiety. I think a lot of people feel that they're not prepared or they have the skill set to do something like that. However, that's something that Pacific Charter Institute can help parents tackle, right? Definitely. Uh, we're not going to drop off some books on your doorstep and say go for it. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to partner with you, um, help you through the process of everything from what curriculum and what um, service opportunities that your child could take advantage of, um, if they're going to be doing karate for PE or gymnastics or if they like this type of book or this type of service or if you want online or virtual. Uh, we help you through making not just those academic choices then the sp but also the social choices that are available for homeschoolers. Mm -hmm. That is a, always a big concern that there's so much opportunity there. Um, but being local and community, mm -hmm. um, we kind of have our uh, finger on the pulse of what's out there, what park days, what um, services are mm -hmm. in the community. And uh, we also do parent education sessions where we help um, parents all, you know, with the challenges of everything from start setting up a classroom to what do you do when this happens mm -hmm. and just keeping it real keeping it at a community that we're here to help each other through the journey great so there's a community established for the parents instructing their children to make sure mm -hmm. that they're on the right path curriculums there and that they're also mm -hmm. taking advantage of all the other educational opportunities in the community itself and uh, from what i understand too um there's also kind of a community aspect for the children the students themselves to make sure that they're being that they're still engaged and that they're that they're a part of kind of the social aspect because that's uh, another mm -hmm. thing too I hear a lot of parents talking about they're afraid of the isolation for their mm -hmm. kids they're not going to have the peers in the social mm -hmm. development but as you can see in these photos right mm -hmm. here you see a lot of the children in in kind of a, a group setting right mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. how is that possible through your program well that is definitely part of what we're trying to do we're trying mm -hmm. uh, to create a community of like-minded individuals and mm -hmm. we all want what's best for our children so we as a, as a or organization we we organize field trips and events for them to come to and in addition we have the guild program that we have running been running successfully through one of our charter schools uh -huh. um, we started with an arts guild and now we are trying to expand this program to more places in the community um, and the, the different um, we had the arts program and now we're trying to do um, more um, help me here um, okay, STEM more. maybe or yeah, STEM, yes, we've yes. been talking with different partners to um, expand what we can bring to the homeschool community. And um, as a charter school, we can leverage a little more partner, a little more resources and a little more um, communications and, and uh, organizing workshops in the community for Your our families. Your resources so are a little broader. Our resources yeah. are broader. We've been speaking with the education director with Hacker Lab. We're putting together something for the fall. Um, uh, we continue our relationship with California Stage. Uh, we've used Access Sacramento for Great. workshops in the past. Um, and 
just what are the students interested in, but mm -hmm. definitely so adding more to STEAM. So really kind of personalize, mm -hmm. though, to the curriculum as well, if you're doing some homeschooling there, yes. too. Yes. Um, and, and one thing <coughs> that, um, that I've heard stated, and correct me if I'm wrong, but homeschooling is actually a public school option and there's funding. Can you explain that further? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're um, a non-site based charter, so we okay. can have education can occur anywhere in the community. Um, it's publicly funded, not by sitting in a desk mm -hmm. every day. Remember if you know the kid who slept in your back of the classroom and you, they still yeah. got attendance funds? Yeah. Um, we claim attendance funds as a school based on students doing some work and um, like proving that they're learning. <laughs> yes, yes, not um, just being physically And present. that yeah. gives them, um, we have a, a student accounts that are very generous that we let our, stu our families pick resources from like instead of the school saying this is what you have yeah. to do we're going to say oh what do you want to pick and use those mm -hmm. curriculum funds wow. for mm -hmm. and um, it's really that idea of guild expanding that that old idea of the guild is a group of um, not just your parents but your community resources mm -hmm. and elders passing down wisdom and resources mm -hmm. to the next generation oh. and working together. So that's why we call it the Guild. The Guild, I so. like that. And it, where, where can parents go so they can learn more about the homeschooling options through Pacific Charter Institute? Well, if you go to pacificcharters.org on the main website, you can see, click right on the link for the Homeschool Guild mm -hmm. and find out more about the homeschool program.